Hello, you're watching Hard Video and Stuff, and welcome back, my friends. Recently, I picked up and then reviewed the Phantom Ari style LUTs, and they're really good. They're some of the best I've tried for highlight roll off, suppressing noise in the shadows, and I find the colors to be very flattering. After releasing my review, I had comments and emails from you saying you wanted to know how to grade with them. Well, luckily, they're some of the quickest and easiest lookup tables to grade that I've ever tried. But here's how I use them. I'm sure you'll find this helpful. If you did want to snap up these LUTs, I was able to get a discount code for you, and you can find that linked in the description section below. So here we are with the first example, and this is my main shot. And the first thing I normally have to do with these ones is to bring the exposure down because I like to overexpose just a little bit because I find it gives me a bit more dynamic range. However, I know with these lookup tables, you can underexpose a little bit to preserve the highlight areas. So I'm gonna lower it just a little bit and obviously it's wise in this situation to check your waveform and check that it's kind of within the range that it needs to be. No doubt I'll be tweaking the exposure a bit more, but for now I'm going to add the Phantom LUTs Utopia LUT because it's probably my favorite of the five that you get. And now that's applied, I'm gonna go back to my exposure settings and make some small adjustments just so it looks about right. Next, I'm gonna add a vignette because I love vignettes and I'm center frame, so I really want to draw the attention to me. Um, so I'm going to add a vignette which just darkens the edges. I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't blur any of the edges and I'm quite happy with that. It's fairly subtle. Next, I'm gonna go back to my color wheels and I'm gonna make some minute tweaks. All I'm gonna do is just warm up my midtones a fraction and cool down my shadows. Just the smallest amount, it would be 2%, something like that. Finally, I'm just gonna add an instance of Skin Smoother plugin from FCPFX. It's amazing and it's linked below. Definitely check that one out, it's cheap too. And I'm just gonna paste the plugin onto my clip for now because it can take a few minutes to set up. So I'm gonna save you some time and you can see my settings there if you're interested. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just take a last look at my exposure settings. And to me, this possibly looks a tiny bit on the warm side, so I'm gonna cool it down slightly using the color temperature slider and I'm gonna tweak the tint just a tiny, tiny bit so it looks a bit more crisp and fresh for want of better words. And there we are, that's the current grade that I'm using. Next, let's take a look at something more stylized. Here's a shot from a music video shot in natural light and you can see it, there's an interesting background with the graffiti there and I really want her skin tones to look good as well. So let me show you how I went from this to this. The first thing I'm gonna do is open up my waveform and lower the exposure as I did before. Next, I'm gonna add my lookup table and as before, I'm gonna use the Utopia LUT because I think it's the most cinematic and it's my favorite of the five. I'm immediately very happy with the colors I'm getting from it, but I think I can make it look more punchy. So what I'm gonna do is add an instance of curves and I need to make sure that I place it before my lookup table because I want to affect the footage before it hits that lookup table. If you've seen my video about how to use curves, you know my philosophy is to add lots of control points and then mess with it till it looks better. Next, of course, I'm gonna add my vignette because it's me. It's non-essential and definitely down to personal preference. Then I took another look at the shadows and thought they look a little bit muted, so I went back to my curves and made them look richer and darker and more punchy, contrasty. So the last thing I need to do here is just to add some widescreen bars for that cinematic look. And I'm gonna select the full 2.35 to one. And of course you can adjust the offset. And there we have it. The lookup table pushed the colors exactly where I wanted them to be. And I think that looks good. For our final example, we have this, which is a very brightly exposed, very sunny day example. We've got lots of highlights to deal with. So let's get into it and I'll show you how I went from this to this. So to start off, we're gonna open up our waveforms. I think we might be seeing a pattern here. And as you can see, this shot has a massive amount of very bright information, but never fear, this is where these lookup tables really excel. So of course, I'm gonna lower the exposure and with all of these examples, you might notice I'm placing most of the information in the middle of our waveform. 
and then we can adjust up or down where needed. Next I'm going to add our lookup table and really this is such a good example of how little work you need sometimes when you just have the right lookup table for the job. And boom! I've just added the neutral LUT which sounds like it would be quite dull but actually it's a really good standard looking LUT. It's given us a lot more contrast so what I'm going to do is just tweak our exposure down a little bit more. The effect that this LUT's had on our scene and particularly the highlights is pretty lovely. Lastly, and you all know it's coming, I'm going to add a very subtle vignette. The reason I'm doing this in this case is that I find that a subtle vignette can actually accentuate the movement because this was shot on a slider. And there we have it, such a simple grading process, but don't you just love the way that this lookup table rolls off the highlights? And that's it for now, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I've got a large back catalogue of videos about video on this channel, of which YouTube recommends this one for you, and my latest upload will be just underneath. If you're not subscribed, then definitely hit the blob on this side, and until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys. Holding me